So this game wasn't on the little schedule that I make for the week. Um, not out of disrespect to either of these teams, but just trying to budget our time wisely to what will yield the biggest ROI for Sleepers Media, the business. And uh, then we watched this game last night, and you and I text each other like, we should do a Wisconsin-Minnesota recap. That was a really fun game. So uh, that's what we're going to do here. Minnesota, or sorry, Minnesota. Wisconsin went on the road to Minnesota and got a Minnesota. A sixty-one fifty-nine. It was nice. It was nice. It was nice. We're not going to be able to do Wisconsin, Minnesota. But if you're going to be pulling out, they got to win a soda. I mean, the the margins were thin, a soda. But stop. All right, you you need to cut it out. Cart, I'll I'll, I'll do it again, a soda. My camera's acting up because we're doing this, but yeah, (laughs) let me just get to the game before you come. It's not a sin, a soda. Okay. And into the game here, um, we have been, you know, as we as we've been doing these videos, these recaps and everything of of that matter. Are you okay over there? I love it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I love it. Are you okay? I just love it. Continue. Okay. Um, we have mentioned in passing that you know everyone, including ourselves, has been discussing like, oh, Purdue versus Illinois. Like, who's gonna come on top of the Big Ten? And slowly but surely. We've always just thrown it at the end as a little a little antidote, I believe the word is, a little asterisk at there that Wait, a little a little a little what? What's the word? A little antidote? 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 It's a little antidote? What's the word? Anecdote. Anecdote. Mm, there's anecdote. Yeah. Sorry. Apologies. A little anecdote. Hey, just just don't don't let it happen again, Soda. That Wisconsin has slowly but surely just been going about their business and getting wins. And look, I get that the the metrics maybe aren't the best friend of this Minnesota team, but I think that anybody who has watched Minnesota would say that this is a team that is it's it's not an easy team to beat. I I think I think that Ben Johnson is doing some really good things over there. I think they got guys. I like Garcia. I like Hawkins. I like Pharrell Payne. I like the I like the pieces on this on this Minnesota team, uh, by no means was this an easy win for Wisconsin whatsoever. I think it's a really good win on the road at the barn. And, you know, they they blew a lead in this game. Uh, they were able to hold off. Minnesota had some chances late. They actually had a really good look off of the missed free throw uh, that I thought might go in. But I, I think this was just a gritty win that, when you look back on a team that they win the Big Ten by a game or two or something like that, you look back to this game that you were able to hold on to the lead, not fumble uh, fumble the lead completely, and kind of get like that gritty Big Ten road win at the barn. Yeah, for sure. This is the type of win that teams that win Big Ten championships get throughout yeah, you, the season. So, yeah. It's it's those it's these, it's the somewhat the ones that you might get away from you that it'll, it'll push you over the edge. Yeah, like honestly, I mean, look, there's a long way to go here, but the margins of winning a championship come down to I don't want to say luck, but just like does does the ball bounce your way? Do you earn the breaks in some high leverage games? Uh if we were to dissect the top 3 teams in this league right now and why Wisconsin is a game ahead of them right now. Wisconsin was able to go on the road and pick up a win against Minnesota on a night where Minnesota was 10 for 24 from 3. In a toss-up game where they were down with two minutes left, Wisconsin wins that game. Purdue loses at Northwestern in a game that was tied with four minutes left. Illinois loses at home against Maryland in a game where they were clawing away and could have come back and won that. Like, that's that's the margins right now. Like, there's been a lot of blowout wins from those three teams. Wisconsin's won a couple close games that Purdue and Illinois have not. Um it's, it's kind of shocking to me to step back broadly and be like, Wisconsin's at the top of this league right now, but this is a really, really good basketball team. I was skeptical of it for the first month. I would say, um, I think I was talking to you about it on the way to the champions classic. It was like, they were getting pounded by Providence and it's just like, I'm out. I just don't see it with this group. I, I see it now for sure. And the biggest reason I see it now is because AJ store is super good. Um, I'm actually kind of getting a little scared now because, like, AJ Store is he here four years? You know, you know what, Greg? This this is the main point I came to. This I'm looking at the rest of the Big Ten in the country, 
I'm pissed. Because, <laughs> because how how did how did AJ Store get to Wisconsin? How do we let Wisconsin get AJ Store? Is AJ Store from Wisconsin? I know I'm good with this type of things. Where's he from? Can I get a check on that, Gregory? AJ Store is from Rockford, Illinois. You know, like I, I get it. Rockford, Illinois, probably probably somewhat close to Wisconsin. If you pull up a map, I'm not one to do it. I'm not going to do it right now. But how did Greg Gard get AJ Store? I know there's a lot of teams that could use AJ Store. A lot of them. Michigan could use AJ Store. Michigan State could use AJ Store. While we're at it, like it's just, uh, it, it's. I mean, credit to Greg Gard in Wisconsin for getting AJ Store. But I also just I, every time I watch Wisconsin, I always do a, like a little twitch and get pissed at myself and other people for letting Wisconsin get AJ Store. I mean, he's been a great addition. He had, uh, he had a double double in this game: fifteen points, twelve rebounds, and he's just. He's he's just perfect for this team too because he just brings something that no other player has, or honestly, in recent memory, that a Wisconsin player has kind of had. Like I guess like Johnny Davis was that type of player, but like he Johnny Davis and AJ Store are completely different. For sure. Um yeah. He's not even like he's been great. He's not playing his best. Like no, he's, he's not. He's shooting 30% from three on the year, and he was a 40% shooter at St. John's as a freshman. Like he, I, the Ken Palm comps, by the way, are pretty uh, pretty interesting to me. Can I give you the three most similar player seasons to what A.J. Storr was doing this season? Yes, please. Dwayne Bacon, the first one. Love Bacon. The next two are the really interesting ones to me. Charles Matthews. Hmm. Terrence Shannon. Wow. Like that's I he's he's obviously not as good as Shannon right now, but like the the early career Charles Matthews, Terrence Shannon is kind of like a, a model AJ Store could follow. And I think he has a better jumper than both those guys. So like I, this could get really interesting, is all I'm saying, as his career goes forward, because he could be an NBA guy, but I don't think he's on the radar necessarily to go right now. He's not going to transfer again. So if God forbid Greg Gar gets two more years out of AJ Store, even one more year out of AJ Store, I think he's like no brainer first team All Big Ten next year. I, I was I was I was going to go even further. Like if you could find somewhere that I'll take a future on Big Ten Player of the Year, yeah, AJ Store, prime prime candidate for that because you know how we love year two of transfers and programs, and yeah. he's already playing well or okay. I think he can play better for yeah. what we've seen, but. Yeah, it's really good. It's been an amazing pickup. It's just it's always funny to me when I'm watching Wisconsin and there was just so much about like what a season would be, and like they play like a season walk on minutes, and this team is just number one in the Big Ten. It's crazy. Um. Yeah, it is. Uh, also, I'm just realizing Tyler Wall is the only guy who's for sure leaving this team after this year. Everybody else could be back. Is Klesman a junior? Klesman and Crowell and Hepburn are all listed as juniors. Oh, wow. Then they get store back and year two, Nolan Winder, year two, Blackwell. Yeah. They're, 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 they're in a really good spot. Um, this game specifically, uh, Minnesota shoots 38% from the free throw line, five for 13, including the big moment of the game where uh, they got a basically a technical free throw when store hung on the rim, which was a dicey call. And Dawson Garcia steps to the line. It was a tie game at the time. Smokes the free throw. Uh, <laughs> Wisconsin shoots 80% from the line, 8 for 10. Was that the whole difference in this game? Like, it, should Minnesota just kick themselves if they make their free throws, they win this game? Yeah. I mean, in, in a game that comes down to two points and literally came down to the free throw line, it that that's, you know, that's like we talk about, we always talk about margins on this podcast in – one to five point games, free throws and things like that, you are is the direct stat you can look to to like what separates why you didn't win the game. Yeah, yeah, it uh, it's jarring to actually like just attribute it to one thing like that, but I think it actually applies in this. Like if Minnesota just makes free throws, I think they pretty clearly win the game. Uh, I want to give Minnesota some credit. This this could have been just a comfortable loss. They were down big early. They went six for six from three to start the second half. Everybody was making them. Uh, Cam Christie had a couple. Mike Mitchell, Garcia, Hawkins, like all these dudes are shooting the ball well. 
I really like this roster. I really like the way Minnesota plays. I think, uh, honestly, at 12 and 7, 3 and 5 in the conference, I think they've had not some bad luck, but just like some of those losses are games they could have won that I think if you play them again, maybe flip their way. Um, I'm going to keep my eye on this team because I, I really do believe in this group and not saying they're going to like make a late NCAA tournament push or anything this year, but I think it's a group that could be dangerous in the Big Ten tournament. It's a group that could be dangerous going forward as everybody comes back. Um, what's Wisconsin's ceiling? Like, obviously, I think they can win the Big Ten, but like, are you getting to the point where you trust this team in March at all? Uh, I actually do trust them in March. Not like Final Four trust them, but I think they're – I think they're pretty clearly a second weekend team. I think I'm, I think I'm there. Wow. All depends on matchups. Obviously. Um, I, like I said, I've been skeptical. I think I would have had them as a team. I'd circle, like looking to fade. I've taken them off that list now, like at least on paper, one win. If they're like a top four seed. Yeah. Not worried about it, but uh, every, anything beyond that's matchup dependent. I was just curious where you were at. Cause you and I are very hesitant to ever put Wisconsin on like short list of national title contenders, but I'm starting to think more and more with this group, man, they just, cause it doesn't look, it doesn't feel when you're watching a Wisconsin game, like it's normal Wisconsin basketball. Like they will push choosingly in transition sometimes because store is just a freak. And I think Klesmet honestly plays different than previous Wisconsin guys have. Like mm-hmm. he, he takes big shots in big moments and he's a really tough defender. I don't know. I just it doesn't feel like the the normal stuff that scares me with Wisconsin is here as much. Yeah. Is it okay to say I'm afraid of Greg Gard? Yeah. I know a guy who can help you with that. <laughs> Do you? Uh, if you need it, just let me know. Hit me up. Yeah. Uh can I say one last thing about Minnesota? Yes. I love Elijah Hawkins. Do you? Yes, I love watching him play basketball. Yeah, he's a good player. He's a really good player. Um, yeah. I mean, just 16, 9, and 5. Yeah. Very light. Just a light little day. Uh, certainly wouldn't have made a difference in Minnesota's trip to the Breslin Center a couple weeks ago. Anyways, anywho. Uh, all right, congrats, Wisconsin. That was a big-time Minnesota. I can't stop. <laughs>